CASB practice test item number four. For this item, we have a question that asks, select all the equations that can be represented by a straight line when graphed on the coordinate plane. And we have six different equations. And now we have to determine which one of these is going to create, which one or, or any of them, there could be more than one, uh, creates a straight line. Now, the equation that makes a straight line is called a linear equation. And a linear equation you're probably familiar with. Let me give you a couple of examples. This is a, uh, an example of a linear equation. It's in the famous slope-intercept form. And here's another equation which is in standard form. And uh, they have uh, their purposes for other reasons. But as you can see, there's some characteristics of linear equations. They have um, two variables. Um, and the variables cannot have anything, uh, any exponent uh, on there except for one. So you can't have x squared, you can't have y squared. Um, it doesn't matter which way the x's and the y's go on the uh, in the equation. They can be mixed up and everything as long as you have an x and a y and um, there's no exponents on them. Uh, one other thing is that you cannot have an x or a y on the denominator of a fraction. Okay, it has to be um, on the denominator um, or by itself as a factor. Okay, and so let's look at uh, some of these equations. Now we just said you can't have x on the bottom of a fraction, and so this is going to create something much different than a straight line. So this is an automatic no. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to eliminate uh, some of them, the obvious ones. If you look at the third one, you see y squared. We can't have a, a y squared or x squared or y cubed for a linear equation, so that's an automatic no. Now let's look at that second one right there. The second one uh, is clearly a linear equation. It's got an x and a y, and uh, there's no, it's not under a fraction, it doesn't have a crazy exponent on it, and so it doesn't matter which way the x's and y's are, they can be all um, put in different places. That is um, a linear equation. So we put an x there. And then, if we look at the fourth one, here's a, an example of a standard form linear equation, and so this one is a definite yes. Now, the reason I didn't uh, jump straight to five and six is because they can be simplified, and we're not sure yet if they are uh, equations. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get rid of those parentheses. We're going to have to distribute um, the numbers out front. So we're going to distribute the negative 6 to the x and the 10, and this is what we get. y equals negative 6 minus 60. And so this is clearly a linear equation in the slope-intercept form, so that is a definite yes. We'll put a check, an x there. And then when we look at the bottom number and we distribute that x to both of those, here's what we get. y equals 3x minus x squared. And so one of the rules is you cannot have an x squared. So that is a no as well. Okay, and so um, when you're doing this, just kind of go one by one. Try to eliminate those uh, that are obviously not linear equations and um, so hopefully this helps. Thank you.